I am going to actually finally do the skincare routine that I promised you in the everyday makeup tutorial. So, yeah. I'm not on vacation anymore, obviously. That'd be a really long vacation. I am back at home and just just look at look at the greatness that my best friend got me for my birthday. Just let's take that in. That's gorgeous. Okay. Anyway, so I'm back home. Um, I have more videos coming. I think I'm going to dab beauty path because I've been bored to do it. But I'm just gonna walk through the products I use. I'm gonna tell you like how I use them and when I use them because some of them like I don't use every single day um, but this is just like kind of like the overview of like what my I do for my face and like I do have like two breakouts right here and I'll tell you like my tips on like not just like products that you can use but like how you can like help your skin in general if you don't have like if you have just like kind of like everyday acne not like cystic acne like just like stuff that you can handle over the counter or whatever um, but yeah, if you guys want me to do like the demonstration of everything, um, make sure to like this video. And I was also thinking about doing like a hair care routine because my hair is, was really damaged and I kind of nursed it back to health finally. So if you guys want tips on that, just make sure to comment and tell me other videos that you'd like to see if anybody's like actually like interested in seeing something. But I'm going to go ahead and stop talking now and get started. So the first thing I use is my Mary Kay Botanical Effects Cleanser and I am the oily and sensitive skin combination. This comes in three skin type combinations. There's sensitive skin and then there's um, normal to dry oily and sensitive skin. There's two sensitive ones. One's green that's just like just for sensitive skin for like people who have really really sensitive skin and this one's for designed for people with like oily skin and combination skin more. Um, so that's what I use and it's purple the green one is the sensitive skin, the pink one is the um, normal. So these you have to have a Mary Kay consultant to get. I, After I run out of this, because this is my last tube of it, um, I think I'm going to try the Olay effects, like the, because it seems really, really similar to this. And I would kind of stick to all natural stuff because that seems to be what's working best for my face. And I'm going to be up front. There's going to be a pattern of like a few Mary Kay products because I used to be a Mary Kay consultant. So like I'm just trying to burn through like all those products that I had. So that's why there's those. Um, I may or may not repurchase them from a consultant. I'm going to try and find over-the-counter versions of all of these so that way it can help you guys out. But that's why those are in here right now. So, But I use this every single day in the shower. And then every, like, I don't do this often. Like, you can do it once a week. Um, but this is the step one of the microdermabrasion from the TimeWise collection from Mary Kay. Um, and this is for everybody. Like, anybody can use this. It's not for a specific skin type. I do this maybe, like, it's when my skin's, like, really, really bad. Like, I feel, like, down here on my chin, like, it's really bad. Or, like, I can notice, like, around my nose, like, my blackheads and stuff are weird, really weird. Um, because you can't use this every day. Like, you will just, you'll just keep, like, your skin will be more exposed to, like, damage and um, bacteria. But I use this maybe, like, once every, like, two or three weeks, maybe once a month. It just really depends on, like, how my skin's doing. But there's that. Um, there's a step two to this that I don't use because it's, like, the formula for is really oily and since I have oily skin already it kind of just like feels really heavy on my face so I don't use it. I, if my skin's really dry in the winter I'll use it but like in the summer I obviously won't because my skin's like really oily already. But there's that and then, sorry all my products are right next to me. Then whenever I get out of the shower this is every single day that I use this and I'm trying to find a different one but I, this one works so far. I use the Neutrogena Acne Stress Control, Control Oil Free Toner. Um, and I use, I just take a little cotton round and I squirt it on half of it and then I fold it in half so like the back side, like my skin's not pressing through from my fingers through the uh, cloth because I don't want my oils from my fingers on there even though I just got out of the shower. Um, but it treats acne even before it emerges, eliminates oil and shine, refreshes and soothes. And literally like this is like the holy grail product, like for my skin at least. I noticed such a huge difference in this, like I've tried toners before but for some reason this, it just like really really gets in there it has um, 2% uh, salicylic acid um, so I guess that is designed to help acne and it's like a stress control thing so like I guess it gets in there like I had really bad acne stress so that helps out I guess and I'm babbling so I'm gonna move on but this 
is awesome. I really, I kind of want to try the redness one next because my face gets really red along my face. That's why my face always looks tanner than the rest of my body because my face is naturally darker than the rest of my body because like a weird hyperpigmentation thing. So, for those of you who like to comment on that, and then um, to go along with the acne trend. This one I don't use all the time. I just use it like when I have like breakouts like this because it's really drying. It's um, a maximum strength acne medication with the uh, the benzoyl peroxide gel, and it's 10% acne or 10% benzoyl peroxide, with, which is really high. Um, you, if I would suggest like getting the lowest like dose of this to like to start to try it. Um, I've used the lowest doses ones, and like my skin got used to it, and so now I just use the maximum strength as like a spot treatment. Um, but it, this is really like a big difference. It will like, I put it on my spots and like it like literally just like, I don't know, whatever the combination of like my toner and this like just makes it like really clear up really fast. But like I said, don't use it like, if you have really bad acne all over, like you could probably do like a really, really thin layer like all over your face of again, like not this high of concentration of it. But um, once you like only have just like little like baby spots, then I'd use it like that because it's, it can be really drying on your skin, especially in the winter. And it's not good to go out in the sun with it. So if you do use this in the summer, like all over your face, make sure you're using sunscreen, like even more so than you already are. So there's that. Um, this one, moving on to like my eye treatment or whatever. Cause like I don't really have like, I have like frown lines up here, but like I use coconut oil every now and then and that like helps it. But like other than that, like I just squinted too much. And so they're there and I really, I'm not ready to like commit to like a full time, like anti-aging red, like regimen so I really just don't want to like deal with that yet so I'm just like whatever but um, I do do stuff for my eyes because I have like really really bad dark circles and this um, is the Mary Kay Time Wise Targeted Action Eye Revitalizer and it's just it's a little roller ball and um, how I use it is I do it right when I get out of the shower after I've done my toner and everything but before I do my moisturizer I do this and I do um, a coat of it like all over my under eye and then I like take my like finger and I like rub it in and like make it like kind of like pat it in and make sure it's like sucked in there. And then I go over it one more time like right on this part of my eye where the dark circle is. And then I just let that air dry. Um, but this, I've noticed like a huge difference. I've been using this for like two weeks now because I just like found it in all my products. But I've been using this for like two weeks and I've noticed a major difference. Like even in like three days. Like so this, or um, I'm going to try and find the over counter the version of this. But this is like really amazing. Um, so there's that. And then, of course, we have to moisturize our face. So um, I will admit I'm really horrible about moisturizing my face because, like I said, I have like really, really oily skin. And I moisturize more in the winter, and I use like a thicker moisturizer then. Um, and I tend to use like a night cream too. But I'll probably do like a winter skincare thing. Um, but I have really oily skin already, so like if my skin's like really, really like gross and oily, I like skip moisturizing it I guess which is bad but this this one seems not to be heavy on my face and not cause me to break out because that's my biggest problem with moisturizers is they'll work for like two weeks and then all of a sudden I'll just like break out horrendously and I'll stop using that and obviously it's that product so I trying to get through moisturizers and figure out which one's best for me but this is the Mary Kay Botanical Effects Hydrate in the um, same line as the cleanser so I'm not gonna go over all that again but it's it's just like a little like gel and I make sure I do a really really thin layer so it's not really heavy and sitting on my face but it's really lightweight because it's natural ingredients already um, so there's that but again I, I've been using this one every day but sometimes I have to alternate because my skin gets really bad in the summer um, I'm gonna talk real quick about um, like tanning moisturizers that I use on my face because um, in the winter I do it more than the summer because obviously like I'm out in the sun or whatever in the summer but I do like self tan like not so much that like I look like Snooky but just like enough so like I don't like just look like this pale ghastly freak like I do it so I have at least some kind of color to my face and so that I don't have to like switch out foundations so badly um, but I usually use this for like my whole body and I have like a little mitt with it because it's a gel it's kind of like a color guided gel it's like I guess like the over counter possibly of like San Tropez, maybe I don't know I haven't tried San Tropez. I really want it because this is almost out um, but it's called the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze and it's just like a little gel it's kind of glittery um, but you can see where you use it but it doesn't like leave like a weird residue so like you can go out after like you put it on 
Um, just make sure like you dry yourself before you go out because it'll get all over your clothes. I found that out with my white shorts once. Um, but this I use, and if I um, do it on my face, I'll just take like, when I squirt out the top of the bottle, it's all gross. But like if there's like a little bit of like a drop on there, I just like pat the mitt onto it and like whatever is left over from like doing like my body or whatever. And then I like do my face with it so I'm not putting like a ton of it on there because my face is already darker than the rest of my body. And then um, that way it's not like drawing too much attention to it. And then if I'm really tan already and I don't need like super, super instant color, I use um, this Nivea Sunkiss Radiant Skin. And I use this a lot in the winter because it's like... I don't know it's super moisturizing um so I just like put it on my face because it doesn't like have like a impact like a visual impact like that moment it's like takes me like a week to like it's it's a gradual tanner like you guys know how those work but um so I use this more than I use that one but that's if I like my face and like my whole body is like really pale but this one I just kind of use like is like a filler and like I alternate this with like my other moisturizer and then to wrap it all up um I usually take like a shower like every day when I get up so then I do like that whole entire skincare routine like every morning-ish um, and then sometimes I'll take like I don't know like I'm weird I might take showers at night but like in the event that like I have like makeup all over my face and like I need to go to sleep and I don't like want to shower or something because like I can like revalue save my hair or whatever or just like I'm lazy and I know I'm not gonna see people tomorrow um, I use these these are like the Walmart brand ones but these are the Equate Beauty Refreshing Cleansing Towels. Um, and they're oil free. It says compared to Garnier Refreshing Removing uh, Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And um, I got these because I use like the Simple Brand ones a lot. But those only come in like 16 in a pack. And they're like $4, which isn't too bad. But like these were $3 and there's 40 in a pack. So I just got these to try and they work really, really well. Like they don't make my skin break out or anything. So I just use these like every single night and they do get off mascara. Like I, I don't use waterproof mascara, but I, they, so it takes waterproof mascara off because I have some that are like really special. But so it's really, really good. And so I suggest those if you like are trying to like save money, but like still have like the stuff you need. So, all right. I feel like I just talked really, really fast, but so there's that. And if you guys have any questions, oh crap, I forgot the tips. Okay, never mind. Um, my tips for like, like, like here, like cell phone use, and then like just everyday like stuff that you can do that will help like improve your skin. Um, if you have like really bad skin or just like general like bad skin, like you have like trouble spots or whatever. Um, or if you like break out like a lot like around your face make sure you're cleaning off like your cell phone screen if that's not obvious to you I really need to clean mine now but like if that's not obvious to you like make sure you're cleaning your cell phone screen um, my other suggestion is your pillowcase like has like if you use any kind of products in your hair like and your face is oily and you go to sleep but you don't wash your face like that all builds up on your pillowcase and like that's just sitting there um, I change my pillowcase like once every like two to three weeks depending on like if my skin's doing well um when it was really really bad i had i literally have like seven pillowcases and i was changing it like every other day because it was just like i just wanted to make sure like i wasn't sitting there like sleeping in that um if you take showers at night that'll help it a lot because like you won't be having all that like great oils and dirt from your day like you should really like wash your face every night but if you don't like take a shower at night i guess um, but that's like a big thing is like help to help do that. Um, for me, I'm like a picker, I guess, like with my hands. So like I'll like, I used to get bored in like class or whatever. And I'd sit there and I'd like pick at my face if I had something. Don't do that. Like I stopped doing that and I noticed a huge difference. So like, don't pick. Like it seems so simple, but like don't pick at your face. And some of you are going to be grossed out by that because you can't fathom how somebody would do that. But like, I don't know. It's just like a, like. I used to pick at my nails, like, I don't know, if I, I can't have nail polish on because I pick it off. So, like, I guess I'm just a picker, and I used to do it to my face if I didn't have nail polish on. So, yeah, just don't pick your face. And now I am done. So, like I said, um, make sure to like the video if you guys want to see, like, a demonstration of all of this, or just, like, a minor demonstration of, like, a nighttime routine or, like, a daytime routine. Um, and then if you guys want to see a hair care routine, make sure you comment below and comment down other videos you want to see. So until then, I will see you guys. Bye.